Well, ANC Chair Gwede Mantashe will appear before the state capture inquiry. He wants to clarify what led to the security upgrades at his home. Mantashe led the media on a tour of his Boxburg home this morning. The Boxburg residence, um, the only thing that we'd done there was the CCTV cameras and the perimeter lighting. What did you do with CCTV cameras? Did you install? Did you repair? Did you we installed maintain? you. We installed new cameras at that premises. Yes. These are disclosures at the state capture inquiry. Liru told the commission that security upgrades were done on three of Mantashe's homes. It amounted to 300,000 rands. Busasa has been fingered for securing billions in tenders and for bribing key officials. Today, Mantasha sought to clarify his position on the security upgrades. The ANC chair invited the media on a tour of his home. The reason that uh, you agrees, testify for nine days and never mentioned my name was not by accident. It was the reality that I never interacted with them. I am not in the payroll of Busasa. I am not in the payroll of Busasa. I was never <coughs> in the payroll of Busasa, never in my life. And that's why I Chris couldn't mention my name for nine days there. He says the upgrades were organized by the ANC security team. Six security cameras and lights around his home were secured by the ANC through consultation with Busasa director Papale Shabani. He says at the time, the ANC had not known Busasa would later be linked to corruption. Kaiser is an exact science. Uh, maybe if we knew what we know now, we should, we should not have interacted with Papa on this matter. You see, okay. if he knew what he knows now, okay, he would not have interacted with Papa. Mantashe says he will conduct further inspections with the media at his two other properties in the Eastern Cape on Sunday. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.